はようございます。Good morning. I'm at the airport, Narita Airport. A big typhoon is coming, and a lot of flights have already been cancelled. Just before starting this recording, I heard an announcement that another flight has been cancelled. My flight is PR 431. When I saw the flight info, I noticed something. I need to double check with my phone. The information display showed that my flight was cancelled. I rushed to the counter, but it was their mistake. Well, I've just arrived in the Philippines on time. Taking off was a little bit shaky, but the rest of the flight was very stable. The plane was taking a detour, but on time, no delay. I'm waiting for my suitcase to come out. I've just arrived. I've always stayed here when I'm in Makati. The traffic is not as busy as I thought it would be. The reason I always stay here is the room is spacious. I love that. The bedroom is here. Here. I have a kitchen here and a living room. I always put bath amenities in this order from right to left. Shower gel, conditioner and shampoo so that I can use them without checking their labels. I'm getting hungry a bit, so I'm going to get something to eat. I know what to eat now. I always hear many people visiting Japan from foreign countries say egg salad sandwiches in Japan are really good. Then I'm always wondering if there's such a big difference between egg salad sandwiches in Japan and that in other countries, so I'm on my way to 7-Eleven in the Philippines. Before coming here, I had egg salad sandwiches from 7-Eleven in Japan for lunch. I still remember how it was. And I'm gonna try egg salad sandwiches from 7-Eleven in the Philippines. Well, it looks the same, but the sandwich bread is different. This tastes sweeter and feels drier, which is interesting. I've been taking online English lessons for years to improve my speaking skills. One of my former teachers, one school ago, is staying in Manila now. She lives in Davao, but she's here to do some family matters. So, we're gonna meet at a cafe and walk in there. This is Ink. Hello. My former teacher at an online English school in the Philippines, in Davao. Mm -hmm. And she's a friend of mine. Of course. She's... Unfri un unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunate. So, we've been to Japan when? In May, May. Last week of May. For some reason, you chose Osaka. What some reason? <laughs> Not Tokyo. Well, of course. My kids come first. Uh, yes, yes. It's important. For, for now. Until then. Give me time. <laughs> what are your questions? 
So my first question is, what made you decide to come to Japan? Not other countries, but Japan. Okay, before the pandemic, before the pandemic. In 2019, my sister went to Japan to visit her friend from college. Okay. She was invited, so she went with my niece. When she came back, she just said, we should go, we should go, like we should go. So I'm like... So she must have enjoyed her stay a lot. She did. She enjoyed it a lot. I asked the boys, like, where would you like to go? You know, where in Japan? Because, you know, my sister wanted Tokyo, of course. But the boys said, oh, can we go to, we want to go to Universal. So I'm like, okay, you win. We because they are big fans of video games. Mario, yes. Mario, <laughs> Mario yes. The, that's the reason you chose Osaka. Not, and that's the one. reason I chose Osaka. I was outvoted mm -hmm. two, two to one. So we have a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your first impression of Japan? Rainy. <laughs> Rain. Dark. So, how about your second impression? Rainy and dark. The third <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, but was it easy to go to a city center? It, it, the, the airport is a bit far from the city center. Ah, we actually booked transfers. Ah. We booked like a van. It was a van, like a nine-seater van. I know you are not good at multitasking, but you, you can do this first. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Mm. I can do this. Don't worry. No, while, I'm waiting. While, while talking? Yes. Oh, okay, keep talking. Yes, I'm waiting for the tea to seep. But I think that's okay now. So, where was I? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your phone connected to the internet? That's my, always my first priority. Mm. Uh, because I need the internet connection as soon as I arrive in the country. Mm. We bought e-sims and physical sims for depending on the phone. Before coming to Japan, mm. did you learn some simple Japanese phrases? Not at all. Hayou gozaimasu. Which means... Good morning. All right. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Thank yes, you. Yes. Yeah. No, actually, no. I did. Did, did you actually use them? I did. I did. I used them at the supermarket, at the shops. So you came to Japan with almost zero, zero. Japanese <laughs> skills. Do you think it's easy for people who don't speak Japanese to enjoy their stay in Japan? Oh, actually it's possible. Yeah, I enjoyed my mm. stay. And you but... didn't have any bad experiences? Because of... Not that I can think of, no. Well, you can't avoid crowded places because you want to go to crowded uh -huh. places, right? Everybody wants to go to those places, so they're crowded. But I never had a bad experience with, for example, ordering my food mm -hmm. or somebody being rude. So you didn't have communication problems? Actually, no. Maybe, maybe in Osaka. Okay, when we visited Kyoto, the shop, the shop owners or the staff at the shops spoke English. They spoke English, or if and they you couldn't... you spoke Japanese in return. <laughs> I wish I could, but I told them I'm sorry, I don't speak Japanese, but you know, they were very... I think they're used to mm. having mm. tourists from everywhere, uh, yes. so like, they, and they were very helpful, actually, mm. friendly, friendly. Mm -hmm. So you say that it's easy for people who don't speak Japanese to enjoy. Uh, possible. Possible? Poss oh, of course it's possible. Oh. Not easy, not difficult. Not difficult. 
easy. Ah, easy in a way that if you're not shy. Mm -hmm. If you're shy, you know, that's a thing, right? Personality. Mm -hmm. If you're shy, then you won't be able to say anything, mm -hmm. right? So, I guess that's it. I'm not shy. <laughs> I'm a little shy, but not shy. So, what was the best experience? Landing was the best. <laughs> it was it was really funny because I knew that Kansai Airport was like out, mm. right? Out at sea, right? But Jet didn't know. So we were like, you know, the plane was going down and he was sitting uh, window side. Mm. And I told him, look out, look outside. And he said, oh, it's all water. And I said, we're landing. And he said, where? <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna be okay. Are we landing on water? <laughs> we'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> he was so well, What stressed. made you so sure? What? What made you so sure that you are fine? Me? No, I was just being mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was it, expecting that you would say something about Kyoto or food or Osaka. Osaka. <laughs> No, that was a that was a once in a lifetime experience for me. The best part was landing. It's over on the first day. <laughs> it's over on the first day. We went to a theme restaurant. It's a Monster Hunter Bar West. That's the name. So my we wanted to go there again. It's a democracy in my family. So. You're always minority. I'm always a minority. Okay, this is my last question. Oh, really? You're done? <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything that you plan to do, but you are not able to do? Because of the rain. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, the botanical gardens at Nankai Park. Mm -hmm. And basically that's it. We were able to do everything that we planned. Good. Yeah, we did, we did. I'm in the Tokyo now. This makes me feel like I'm going to feel good still. I'm going to have lunch with friends.